Greetings and salutations, guys. Here and here, welcome to another late night live sale. This Friday the thirteenth. I didn't even notice that it was Friday the thirteenth until right now, when I was looking at the date. I hope you guys all had a great Friday. <laughs> uh, let's see who's in here. Uh, hi, Tara. There's Don, Pris Creator, Linda. Hi, everyone. Tanya, QZ Koi. There's Jay Sweet. Hi, everyone. Uh, let's see who else is in here. Oh, there's Carmen, Hipatia, there's Dodo Bird, Dorothy, Pauline. Hi, guys. <sighs> is it just me or is it really cold? Like, I feel like the, the it's going to start raining again tomorrow and the temperature just, like, dropped. It was a little bit warmer the past few days because it stopped raining, but now that it's going to rain again tomorrow, it's, like, freezing. Uh, hello, Cutie Koi, how are you? Sean. Oh, that's so nice, Linda. Hi, Brina. How are you? Uh, but that's so nice of Sean to do that. We do love a Patricia Nash wristlet. What's Crazy Lamp Lady? What is Crazy Lamp Lady? Uh, oh, Lady Badger and I are doing our live, I believe it's next Thursday um, at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So if you guys want to um, make sure to mark that on your calendars, I totally forgot to schedule the rest of the lives for the rest of the month. So I'll do that after the live tonight. But next Thursday at 11 a.m., uh, Lady Badger and I are going to do a live together. Adrian says hi to everyone too. <gasps> Dawn, do you love it? Isn't it so gorgeous and sparkly? Um, Adrian, did, was I the one that shipped Lady or Linda Lobster's Henry Bundle? I think that was me. Oh, that was me, Linda. That was me because I wrote a little note on your on your package. <laughs> that was me. Another reseller. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never heard of the of um Crazy Lamp Lady, but I will check her out. Why is she called Crazy Lamp Lady? Does she have like a lot of lamps? Oh, Don, yay! And oh, Adrian says thank you, Brina. Hi, Boots. I feel like I'm going blind. I don't know how to make the font bigger on here. Oh my gosh, Linda, stop. I felt like I was writing really ugly. <laughs> but thank you. It's funny. I don't think anyone really writes... I, I wrote it in cursive, right? I don't think anyone writes in cursive anymore, but I love writing in cursive. It's my favorite. But I feel like no one can read it whenever I write in cursive. Hi, Janice. Anna, hello. Vadrian, I'm going to make Vadrian create like a YouTube account so that they can start chatting in the chat. They don't want to, though. <laughs> Boots. <laughs> no, I don't think you guys have ever seen Vadrian before in any video or anything. <gasps> Ooh, Don, you're waiting to film it. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. Oh, Pasadena? You gotta go to um, Dodo Bird. Downtown Pasadena has all of the good, like, secondhand shops. So, um, just on that street where all of the... There's, like, a Tiffany's there. Um, that Where the Tesla store is. Like, on that street, there's a lot of secondhand resell, like, secondhand stores. Um, you gotta go check it out. There's, like, a bunch. And by bunch, there's two. <laughs> but they're good. Oh, you know, I think there's an, um, and there's a, someone has, there's like another store in downtown Pasadena. I've never been there, but I know there's like another, like, the secondhand, like, designer clothing store. I don't remember the name, but I just, I, I heard of it in passing, but I know there's one in downtown Pasadena as well. So just Google it and then, um, it should pop up, I think. Uh, yes, make a YouTube video. 
Yeah, Colorado, there you go. Yeah, that's the street. There's like a crossroads there. There's a second street. Um, and yeah, but you gotta also go to like, what's that store? There's that, um, it's like Daiso, but it's that other one. What is that called? Miniso. I love Miniso. There's a Starbucks there too. Hi, Edie. How are you? Oh, did you really, Boots? I love Pasadena. It's so fun there. It's just the parking is a little atrocious, but yeah. It's a little crazy there. I don't think there's any free parking anywhere either. You have to like pay for parking everywhere you go. And don't accidentally drive in the one-way street where there's like a parking area, <laughs> like me. It was horrible. It was so embarrassing. Oh no, Edie, how did that go? Oh, that's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing okay. Okay, you guys, I need a giveaway question, but tonight's giveaway, I'm giving away this really cool diesel wallet. And it's like in this gray leather. And it's like a distressed leather already, but this is actually a good project if you wanted to dye it. I believe this is vegetable dyed leather, so you can definitely dye it black, you can dye it a darker shade of gray, you can uh, paint it, you can do whatever, or you can just leave it. I think it looks really cool as is. It's supposed to look vintage like this anyway, and that's kind of like that diesel aesthetic. It's kind of like lived in and like has like that distressed look, but the inside is where it's at it's like this beautiful bright blue and the inside is in pretty great shape so and then that there's a zipper pocket right there as well it's rick oh uh, not rick, no it's uh raf simmons it's raf simmons first creator but yeah this is today's giveaway and if you guys um, want to help me think of a question, what is your favorite? Oh, that's a good one. I need more TV shows to watch. Oh, Hypatia. That's the that's the question that you... Um, okay, let's do that. And if you haven't purchased anything before, just let me know what your favorite secondhand purchase was. If you've never purchased anything from me, just like in general. So thank you, Hypatia, for the question. I remember we said that we were going to use that last time, so... We're going to use your question. And then next live or um, the next sale, we'll do favorite TV series right now because I need a new TV show to binge watch because I am all out. <gasps> no way, Brina. That's awesome. Versus Versace stuff is so cute. Okay, so leave your answer in the comments of this video. Link it. it was this morning's YouTube video, so just leave your answer there. And at the end of tonight's live, we're going to be announcing the winner for this really beautiful diesel wallet. Yay! Okay. What are we going to start off with tonight? I feel like we had so many new goodies. I, I made, like, a quick impromptu video for this morning. Um, that was the kind of like a haul and preview of some items that are going to be available in today's live. Um, I do have some other stuff too. So it's not just the stuff from the video, but... Oh, I watched Wednesday, Linda. It was really, really good. I binge watched that. I really liked it. Uh, wow, the ones with the safety pins. In the that was an iconic dress. Like, the dress that I believe... Um, who was it? She used to date Hugh Grant. And she was in... Was it the Royals or something? What's her name? But she's fabulous. And she had, like, that Versace dress with, like, the pins down the side. And that's kind of, like, one of the dresses that, like, like made her, like, a style icon on the red carpet. The Last of Us. Oh, I'm going to have to check that one out. Starting on the 5th. Oh, it's starting on the 15th, so it hasn't started yet. So I have time to prep. Um, oh, you guys. Okay, also, let me leave the link for Edie. Um, she still needs to raise funds for her surgery that's coming up. And it's coming up on, on my birthday. On, it's on March 1st. So if anyone could contribute anything to Edie's... 
um, surgery. That would be amazing. I'm going to leave her PayPal. So if you want to send her maybe like a friends and family, um, send her cash that way. Like even if it's small as a dollar, like any small, like any bit helps. And then we also do have a GoFundMe as well. And I will link that as well if you want to um, donate on the GoFundMe. So I will leave that here too. Yeah, but if you could do the PayPal, that would be so much better because PayPal doesn't take a, out like any fees or anything if you send friends and family. So like any little bit helps and it would be amazing to help Edie get that surgery. Um, we have until, again, her surgery is on March 1st, which is my birthday. So for my birthday, if you guys could donate <laughs> anything, any small amount helps. Okay, yeah, exactly. Like, it all will add up. Um, we were able to raise that 2500 for the first part um, that she needed to just even schedule the surgery. And then she just needs 2500 more to be able to pay off the surgery so she can have that surgery on the Mar on March 1st. So that would be amazing. Um, also, people are selling items on behalf of Edie as well, where proceeds will go to her. So if you guys would like to... Um, Check that out. We have a section for Edie in our Discord. And that Discord is right here if you guys would like to go there. Um, and there's little tabs on the side. Um, the one that says Fundraiser for Edie will have the items that people are selling for Edie. So if you're interested in any of those items, you can message those people and um, do that. And then we also have like other sections as well. We have the authentication section, um, handbag rehab questions. We even have like a for sale by group member section. So if you guys are selling anything yourselves or have a Poshmark, Mercari, Depop or whatever that you want to link, you can put that on there as well. And we have a share your bag of the day section, photo media share, thrifted home decor. There's so many different little sections there that you guys can go check out. And yeah, the chat is like alive 24 seven and yeah, it's awesome. Uh, oh, Nick Ron, hello from UK. How are you? Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, oh, I do ship internationally to you guys. If you guys are um, out of the US, I do ship internationally. Just let me know where you are and we'll give you a... Uh, What's it called? A quote for shipping. Um, we'll give you like different options for how you want to ship. And yeah, so if you're out of the US and would like to purchase anything, just let me know and we can send you that shipping quote. Um, and also like all the information, like all the sale info is also right here. But if you have any questions about anything, just let me know. But this, it, this will explain it better than I can say it probably. <laughs> so I just leave that up for you guys so you can see that. And also don't forget, we are doing a sale um, with Lady Badger this coming Thursday. So this coming Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Oh, Zuli, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hi, Linda. Hey, <laughs> I know, it's so bad. Like that Louis Vuitton bag. I'm honestly like, I didn't even bring it down because I feel like I just want to keep it. Um, I've already shown it, like, I think I've shown it, like, once for sale. And I was like, <gasps> am I going to actually sell it? Yeah, usually I like everything that I sell. So, like, I don't want to buy anything that I don't actually like. Or, like, it's, it's something that I know, like, family members of mine will like. So, I, I'm usually, yeah, usually I, like, I always think about, like, what's my mom going to like? What am I going to like? What's my sister going to like? What's my aunt going to like? So, I, I don't know. I always have, like them in mind. And I also have you guys in mind too because I know what a lot of you guys like now too. Um, so I always keep you guys all in mind whenever I'm like outsourcing and finding stuff. Ooh, Lady Badger, I'm excited to see what you have. Oh my gosh, Yipatia, the sunglass addiction is so bad. Um, like, these are so good. I think I'm, I'm keeping these sunglasses for sure, these Mont Blanc sunglasses. Because I don't have anything this mirrored, and they're so cool. And then I also had these, too. These are also, like, really cool. These are Givenchy. I think I'm actually going to sell the other pair that I got, which... Where did it go? 
I like hid them, so I can't even find them myself. Where did I put them? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> the LV. <laughs> Hi, Tofo. Um, these guys. I think I'm going to let... <sighs> Am I going to let these guys go? Hold on. Let me just cut off this little tag. I haven't even cut off the tag. No, these are so cool. I think I like these too. I think I'm going to have to keep these also, at least for a while. <laughs> I'm literally the worst. I have like a sunglass addiction. It's really bad. Me bag and puzzle bag. Oh my gosh, and I cannot wait to see the bags. I'm super excited. Hi, Topo. Vadrian says hi also. <laughs> oh, Carmen. I know Carmen wants me to sell all the sunglasses. Um, okay, let's just, let's get started though. <laughs> Let it go. You don't need it. <laughs> Carmen, I think the only other person in here that like rivals my sunglass collection might be you, honestly. <gasps> That's exciting, Anne. I was going to do an unboxing today, too, because I thought a package was supposed to come today, but it got it got um, postponed or whatever, so I'm not getting it yet, <laughs> unfortunately. I, I was excited, and then, yeah. Okay, let's get started, because I have some pretty good items for you guys. Hold on a second, though. I just wanted to clean this off. Um, our first item is going to be, I don't remember, I don't know if you guys remember this wallet that I showed not too long ago. And this is an item that I thought I was also going to keep myself, but I'm like, we'll see if any of you guys are interested in it, then we will let it go. But, wait, did I even show this? I don't even remember actually showing this item. I might have. But it is this beautiful Bulgari card case. No, but I don't. I didn't show it in the live. But I don't remember showing it in like the thrift in the haul video. But maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember because I, I I left it inside my bag and I don't remember if I pulled it out to show you guys. But this is it. It does have a couple little marks. So there's like that mark right there, and there's a mark right there as well. Um, the front though is in, the front though is in pretty good shape. So it looks like that. It just has Bulgari in gold up top. Oh my gosh, Tanya, that's awesome. I can't wait to see. And Linda, thank you so much. You literally, you literally have one of the biggest hearts ever. And we are just so fortunate to have you in our community. So thank you so much for doing that, Edie. Okay, and yeah, I did show it in the video, right? I wasn't sure because I was like, wait, why is it still inside my bag? Subconsciously, I was probably like, don't sell it, keep it. But then I saw it and I was like, wait a minute, I will show it. So um, this is our first item, this Volgari little card case. And it's in this embossed crocodile leather and then just regular smooth red leather. And it's in pretty good shape. Again, it just has that mark right there, which will probably be covered by a credit card when you put it inside. And then it does um, kind of have like that mark that's right there. Is it showing? There it is. It's kind of like a scratch. Hi, Lil. How are you? Okay, this is our first item. This is our red... Volgari card case with gold writing. And how much is this going to be, Vadrian? The little serial number thing is like right in there, too. I don't know if it's going to show. Can you see it? It's like right there inside. And. Oh, there it is. The little made in Italy. Um, stamping and everything is in the other pocket and it's right inside of there. Volgari made in Italy. 
So it's a really cool piece. Oh, Edie, that's amazing! I'm so excited! Oh, Don, you sent my... Don, you're amazing. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Okay, so... Sorry, Vadrian. <laughs> um, okay, I know these card cases are pretty expensive. I think they use, like, retail around, like, 400 or something dollars. Um, but we're going to give you guys a good deal. Let's do... How much, Vadrian? Okay, we're going to do 85 for this guy. That's going to be item number one. And that's going to be our first item for the evening. Our Volgari card case in red. She's so pretty. Oh, that's awesome, Edie. That's good to hear. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have that guy right there. And then our next item is number two. Yeah, we love you so much, Edie. You're the best. Okay, so this is to go with the red card case. We'll do another red item. Look at this. They match. Ooh. And we have this beautiful red Chanel. Hi, Bonaventure. How are you? Hi, Norma. This one is so cute. It has um, double straps. You can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can extend it and wear it crossbody. This one does sit a little bit higher up though when you wear it, um, which which I like. It's not everyone's favorite, but you can wear it crossbody or just like as a shoulder bag. This has gold hardware. It has red lambskin leather. And this one does have like a little bit of a patina to it, which is really pretty, which I really like about this beautiful lambskin. It just Grow, like ages gracefully and beautifully with you as you use it. And it has um, the smaller quilting on top for the top flap. And then the body actually has a larger quilt pattern, which I think is really cool. And I do also like this ruching detail that it has on it. And here's the interior. It's in good shape in the inside, but it does have a little bit of slight color transfer um, underneath the zipper pocket, which is from the leather, because the leather is so soft, like some of that leather color transferred onto the fabric, but it's honestly not too bad. It's really, really light. And there's just one interior zipper pocket right inside of there. And what is this one gonna be for, Vadrian? So red, Chanel. This is the one with the gold hardware. Flat bag with gold hardware. Okay, this one is 2850 Oh yeah, if you guys can give the uh, video a thumbs up, it always does help the channel immensely. Thank you so much. Alright, up next is item number three. Up next is going to be oh let's do this guy this little wallet this is um, a little Chloe little vintage Chloe wallet it's so cute it's in this really shiny like suede leather and it has kind of like this laminated silver like metallic silver print on top of it. It's really fun. There is a mark right there and there are like um, some areas where there's a little bit of rubbing like on the corners. But I feel like it still has so much life left. It has the little metal bow in the front and has a black leather um, piece right there. This is a snap pocket. The snap still works really well. And there also is a compartment in the back which also has a snap opening. Snap works really well as well. This is just a smooth black leather. Lots of card slots. There's a cash pocket here up top where you can put your um, bills. And there is a zip around pocket as well. 
And it's actually in pretty clean inside of there. I don't think they actually kept change in here. So the interior fabric is still nice and clean, but this is also a great spot to store cash and change and business cards or whatever. And the zipper still works really nicely also. And the hardware um, just has very minimal discoloration. It's partly where it connects right there. It's kind of turning silver, but still looks really good. And this is item number three. It's beautiful, Donner. <laughs> oh, and it's gonna be. It might. It would be the third. <laughs> okay, so this is our silver um, suede Chloe um, wallet with gold hardware. Okay, and this one is in definitely like pre-loved condition, but it's still in great shape. I think it still has so much life left. It's pretty much just the exterior that has, like, the rubbing and stuff on it. But inside, it's not bad shape at all. And the interior, the zipper is nice and clean. Uh, what do you say, Adrian? All right, we're going to do this one for $40. That's going to be item number three, our Chloe wallet, for $40. Okay. Then we're going to go to item number four. Do, do, do. Oh, Dodo Bird's calling it. Congrats, Dodo Bird. She's a beauty. All right. I have a... <laughs> I found this at the thrift store recently. Isn't it so cute? It's like the little guy from Totoro. He's like the little white Totoros. Those little, like, I don't know what they are. But <laughs> he's from Totoro. So cute. Our next item... Uh, is going to be oh let's do this guy okay this is a beautiful All Saints shoulder bag and this is in black leather it has these embossed stars on it and that's throughout the bag on the front and the back and then it says all stains and balls right there on the front there are like very light marks on here because it is a smooth leather um but they're not very noticeable you can only see them at certain angles but they're so pretty what vadrian oh vadrian says hi cindy um it has silver hardware how are you cindy thanks for joining us tonight uh, inside is in black fabric. There's one interior, like, zipper pocket that's right in there. Um, so this one you can wear as pretty much just a shoulder bag. You can double up the strap like this and then carry it like that. Or you can extend it this long and then carry it like that. So it's just a little bit longer. But those are just the two lengths that you can carry this guy at. And this is going to be item... Number four. Hi, sister of a dad. How are you? Okay, how much is this one, Vedrian? Black All Saints Star Embossed Shoulder Bag with Silver Hardware. Um, okay, this one is going to be $85. And this one's in pretty good shape, other than it's like light marks on the exterior leather. That one is. $85. Okay, up next, item number five. We've been um, trying to get ready for Eliza's birthday tomorrow, and we have just been super crazy all day trying to, like, put up balloons and buy... I had to go buy a bunch of balloons because I thought we ordered some on Amazon, and I thought, like, we just had them, like, somewhere put away. Forgot to order the balloons. They were actually like Cade's old leftover balloons. And I thought like it was like a whole new pack. And so we had to go buy, well, I had to go buy balloons and then extra decor. And then I had to do a last minute run to like Trader Joe's to buy flowers and then Albertsons for extra groceries. And yeah. So if you hear some noises later, I, I don't know if my sister is going to continue working on the balloons. Um, but... Eliza wanted, like, a bunch of balloons for his birthday, so we were like, okay, Eliza, we're gonna get as many balloons as we can. 
Oh, well, you guys want to see? I, I kind of made like a small. So we have like a big balloon arch, and then I wanted to put little um balloon things inside the walkways, um where we have like so there's like two walkways. Like I don't know how to describe them, but I'll show you guys the photo really quickly, and I'm gonna try to like drape them so they're gonna be like mini arches over those and I'm gonna do two of them because we have like kind of like two openings that go into like the hallway so I'm gonna pop those up oh Linda I'm not an amazing party planner I'm a last minute party planner that does everything like an hour before the party starts so I'm actually horrible <laughs> but I work well under pressure <laughs> but that's how it looks so far so, like, that's, like, that, like, the little thing that's gonna go, there's gonna, well, there's gonna be one there, there's gonna be one, like, on the other end of the hallway, and I think I'm gonna, I think I have, like, these little, um, paper, uh, like, fan things to put in the middle that'll, like, hang a little bit. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna put those there, or if I'm gonna put this somewhere else, but it should be fun. Oh, Dawn, thank you! We're excited. I, I'm just worried that it's going to be raining so hard tomorrow. It's going to be crazy. I already see, like, the clouds rolling in. It already looks like it's going to be torrential. And I think it's supposed to be pretty crazy tomorrow with the rain. <laughs> Linda, thank you. Okay. Um, our next item is going to be item number five. And... Hold on, okay. Um... Oh, who bought number three again, Vaderin? That was... I forgot to put it in my notes. Dodo Bird. Perfect. Okay. For number five... I hope it's gonna be fun. And we also got a new karaoke system, so that should be really fun. I figured... It, it took me a while to figure it out, but I figured out how to, like... we. I got, like, these cordless microphones, and then I got a sound bar for the TV, and then I figured out how to like connect the TV to the soundbar to the microphones. And then we can just put like the karaoke on like YouTube karaoke and we'll be able to sing at the same time. And it's really fun. We've been doing that for like the past two nights already. And it's a blast. So I can't wait to sing karaoke tomorrow. Hi, Veronica. You're not late at all. We're only on number five. Uh, West Coast gal. Yeah. It's blue and white. Blue is his favorite color. So we're just doing dark blue, light blue, and then white. And then like some silver here and there also. <laughs> Thank you, Don. All right. Our next item is going to be item number five. And oh, let's do this guy. Okay. This one is so funny. This is a little Rebecca Minkoff zipper um, change purse. It's super cute. It's in this really fun cobalt blue leather. And it says holy chic in silver. So it's really cute. There's a silver hardware on the back. We're going to buckle Minkoff. He still has the little tags right here. Um, ooh, the color is supposed to... Oh, the color is ultraviolet, but it looks like a cobalt blue to me. And the color on camera looks to be that same color. So it's like a cobalt blue, electric blue color silver hardware. And it still has all the stuff inside. It's just an opening. There's no, like, other pockets in the interior. It's just, like, a black fabric lining. Uh, but this is our next item. Our Rebecca Minkoff little boots. Boots, you're Filipino. I know you sing karaoke. You have to. It's like the Filipino way. Oh, my gosh. Karaoke is so much fun. Hi, Arthur. How are you? Oh, Tammy. Your name is Tammy. Hi, Tammy. In New York. <gasps> Do you know where Mount Kisco is? I used to live in Mount Kisco. I think that's in upstate New York. Um, okay, so this is our Rebecca Minkoff. New with tags. Bright blue. Holy. Chic. Uh, coin pouch with silver hardware. And this one's going to be $40. That's going to be item number five. And again, this one is brand new with tags, has all the original packaging and stuff in the interior as well. And that's item number five. Okay. And, oh, yeah, Linda. Oh, Linda called it. Sorry, Don. Linda, you're quick. 
All right. Congrats, Linda. This guy's going to you. Such a cute little pouch. Okay, up next. Item number six is going to be... Uh-huh. Let's do... Okay, this one's going to be like uh, kind of like a little as-is um, item, uh, but this is a Kate Spade zipper pouch. It's in like an off-white and then a black pebbled leather. And it also has like this fun tassel, it has like gold hardware. Um, some of the writing is like rubbing off a little bit. You can still see it, but it's like not as pro predominant as it probably used to be. And interior does have some mild discoloration, uh, primarily at the top, like where the zipper is right there. Uh, but the inside is not in bad shape. Little piece of paper in there. Um, I think, yeah, the inside's nice and clean, other than just up top, where there's like the zipper, like the little discoloration at the zipper. Um... And there is just like some mild discoloration on the back where the fab where it's the off white color. I don't know if it's like showing up too much, but you can see like kind of like that angle. You can see there's like some discoloration. This would be a great item to like practice painting or dyeing, or you can like clean it up, and then you can practice like doing designs or something on the leather. It'd be really pretty, or you can like stencil your name or initials on here. It'd be really cool, also. So I think this is a this has a lot of opportunities that you can you can do with this little pouch. So this is gonna be uh, oh hi Bevin how are you and Maria Demi hello oh there's Lily hello okay so this is item number oh that is so nice of you Linda yeah okay um so this is our Cream and black Kate Spade zipper pouch with light gold hardware. And this is going to be an as is item. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Yeah. Okay, this one's going to be, um, let's do this one for $15. So, $15. For item number six, our little Kate Spade zipper pouch. Okay. All right. Then we'll go to item seven. Oh, Mary's calling it. Congratulations, Mary. Item number six. That's going to you. Congrats. All right. And then, number seven. Also, there's a lot more of you guys that were in here than there were before. Don't forget to enter our giveaway. Um, here is the link. I'm going to leave it in the live chat for you guys. Head over to that video this morning's YouTube video. Leave your answer in the comments um, to our question right here from Hibatia. What is your best purchase from Hadrian? But if you haven't purchased anything from me, it's totally okay. Just leave your answer for what your favorite, like, secondhand purchase was in the answer, um, in the comments of that video. And then at the end of tonight's live, we're going to be, uh, picking a winner for this gray diesel wallet. It's in this distressed gray leather. Look at the interior. Bright blue. So pretty. So this is tonight's giveaway. Oh, Linda. You guys are the best. I love you guys. All right, um, for seven, we have... Oh my gosh. Um, I have the cutest little bag right here. Yeah, I don't think there's any pockets. Okay, so this is... Do you guys know who this character is? I'm waiting to see if anyone knows her name. Vadrian, do you know who this is? 
Oh, is it really that slow? Been like holding it for like 30 minutes. <laughs> but, um, Kuromi, a little bag, and she is super cute. She's in fabric. Um, just a little top handle is right here. She's super cute. Um, she's in pretty good shape. I don't think she has like really like any stainage or anything on her. And the interior is nice and clean as well. It just has a little bit of pilling in the fabric in the interior. But other than that, there's no stains. There's no um, pockets or anything inside. It's just um, open. But she's super cute. So this is our little Kuromi handbag. Yeah, no purchase necessary to enter the giveaway. Um, so just go to the video that I linked. Which is right here. It was this morning's YouTube video. I wish you could leave a, a comment like on this video, but it doesn't let you leave a comment when the um, when there's a live. Um, so I have you guys just go to a different video. So it was this morning's YouTube video. In the comments of that video, leave your answer um, to Hippokia's question. And if you haven't purchased anything from me, it's really any secondhand item that you've purchased at a thrift store or online or whatever just leave your answer to what your favorite purchase was or your best purchase and then at the end of tonight's live we're going to be announcing the winner for the giveaway for our super cute little wallet right here no the giveaway is this um diesel wallet um carmen vadrian vadrian uh, did you um can you check the tracking for it Carmen, Vadrian's going to check right now, and then we'll let you know what it says. I'll send you the tracking as well in an email. I'm in old Greece. We're like 10. 10 minutes? Oh. Okay, so this is our Kuromi. <laughs> and a Kuromi um, fabric bag. And this is how much, Vadrian? Okay. We're going to do this one for $25. That's going to be item number seven. Next to the North Cape Walmart. <gasps> Wait, are you guys talking about Anaheim, Bevin? Is that where you guys live? Like in, in Orange County? I've been to that Walmart and I've been to that... Um, to that, what's it called? Uh, well, to the North Gate. Uh, oh my gosh, a bunch of you guys wanted this one. Um, looks like, oh, Tofo called this one first. Congratulations, Tofo. You got item number seven, our little Karomi bag. Congratulations. Yay. All right. Karomi's so cute. You guys already know I'm addicted to anything Sanrio. I always... Try to pick it up if I see anything that's in good condition. All right, Karomi, congratulations again to Tofo. All right, up next, got item number eight. Oh, I'm sorry, Ariella, don't cry. All right. Um, up next is item number eight, and we have okay. We have this um, black Kate Spade camera bag. It's in black pebbled leather, light gold hardware. This is the newer, uh, one of the newer styles. It has like the new back pocket that Kate Spade's doing. It also does have a inch thick. Um, crossbody strap, which is fantastic. And then the interior is just in this pink lining. And it still also does come with a little Kate Spade care booklet. And it still has the wrapping on the zipper pull as well. Uh, but this is going to be item number eight. And this is our black Kate Spade pebbled leather um with light gold hardware camera bag. I will, Veronica. Uh-huh. Okay, this guy 
We're going to do $75. And that's going to be item number 8. Ooh. Oh, Carmen, it's supposed to come tomorrow. So keep an eye out. I'll send you the tracking number, though, so that way you can track it. But it should it should arrive tomorrow. Oh, there it is. Thanks, Fadrian. I will... Huh? No, yeah, I can... Wait, what is it? Uh, that's right. Um, no, I think I can find it. What is it? Oh, okay. There it is. Um, Carmen, I'm going to send you the tracking number right now. But yeah, it should come tomorrow. And, oh, where are you, Vader? And there you are. Oh my gosh, Anne. UPS is literally, I feel like everyone's super slow. I feel like a lot of the things I've been getting, everything's been getting delayed, but I know it's because of the weather. So, it's crazy right now. Plus, there was, like, so much flooding and flights were all getting canceled everywhere. So, there we go. Via USPS. All right, Carmen, I just sent you the tracking. Um, so, there's that. Okay. Up next. Oh, you're welcome, Carmen. Mm. Am I the only one that could watch? <laughs> Ellen, thank you. FedEx is pretty quick. You know, I don't really receive anything from, like, no, like, nothing I buy really ever comes by FedEx for some reason. I feel like I never get anything from FedEx. It's always, like, UPS or USPS. Okay, up next is item number eight, right, Adrian? Yeah, okay. Or, no, number nine, not number eight. Okay, number nine. And I'm really excited. You know what, though? Whenever I order anything from J-Ports, like, it arrives so quick. Like, it arrives in, like, once they ship it out, it, it comes in, like, three days. But I think it's because, like, where I live, like, it's, like, um, where all of the stuff um, comes from, like, international. Because I live by, like, the international airports. So I think the stuff just comes quicker to me for some reason when I order anything internationally. Okay. Uh, up next, I have... Okay, this one is gonna be um, like an as-is Tory Burch bag. It's honestly not that bad of condition. But... It is um, kind of like wrinkled, like it's a soft Viano leather, but you can see that like there kind of is some wrinkling to it and there is some like creasing in the leather. Um, the leather is not damaged or anything, but it's just kind of creased. Uh, it has gold hardware. There's like two pockets on either side. Um, the hardware is not in bad condition. It doesn't have like discoloration or anything like that and the zippers oh they're still nice and fluid there are like some stains on the interior though there's like this stain right up there across the top and there is also some stainage at the bottom you could probably get them out more but there is just some staining in the interior of the bag. There are two open pockets on one side, a zipper on the other, and it does also have feet underneath. Uh, but like I said, like the leather just is kind of like wrinkled and like 
a little more misshapen, but I feel like it still has a lot of life left. What did you say, Vadrian? Yeah, Lisa, just use a little reshaping. I lost, uh, I don't know where it went. But yeah, it also does have the crossbody strap. Um, and other than like the stains in the interior, the exterior is in great shape. There's no like really any like rubbing on the corners or anything. Um, and the hardware again is still in great shape. Mm. Okay, this is number nine. This is our black Safiano leather Tory birch satchel with gold hardware. And this one's going to be $45. And that's number nine. All right. Like I, like I said, like it's in pretty good shape. It just has like the reshaping that needs to be done. Oh, I do. I do, Demi. I'll show that in a little bit. Oh, J-Sweet's calling it. Congratulations, J-Sweet. Number nine is going to you. Is that, that guy over there. Um, do you guys want me to do the Lee Radziwill right now? I can do that right now. Let's do that. Um, let me just get this. Okay. Let's do the Lee Radziwill. That's number 10. So, um, next up, we have the Tory Burch Lee Radziwill little satchel. It is so cute. And it is in this, like, really nice taupey brown leather. It is a smooth leather. It does have some marks, depending on what angle that you're kind of like looking it, like looking at it at. But that's what happens when you have like a really smooth leather like this. It has um, gold toned hardware. This isn't the original strap that comes with the bag, but I will include it. So um, that way you can still wear it as like a shoulder bag. You can double up the strap to wear it like that as well, which I think is really cute. And then you can still wear it as a crossbody as well. And we have the little top handle, and we have the little um, key charm on here. Uh, so this guy, when you open it up, you kind of just pull the little uh, buckles open. It's magnetic. And this top flap, well, not flap, but the top portion right here, this is also magnetic. So it has like a magnetic bar all along the back right here. So it, it just holds the bag shut. And it's really cool in the interior because it's in this really pretty periwinkle color and like a periwinkle lavender color inside. Um, there is a little scratch right there on the leather. I don't see if you can, can you see it? It's kind of like a, it kind of left like a lighter mark right there. That's just a little scratch. And I think there's another little mark right underneath the hardware, but you can't really see it because it's underneath. Uh, but other than that, the interior is nice and clean. The interior is all lined in leather. So that's all leather inside of there. It has a little, um, steel number sticker right there as well. And when you push this back in, these are magnetic again, like I said, and they kind of just like, there's like a little roller ball hook that it attaches to, and then it closes. So that's the bag. Um, I'm not sure if this is the smallest size. I think there is a smaller size than this. I'm not 100% sure. I think there is. Because the smaller one doesn't have the little, like the, it has like the belting detail. But it doesn't actually open. Like it's just um, for looks. So I think there actually is a size smaller than this. Let's see if the cell phone fits inside. And cell phone does fit. But let's see if it still closes. Okay, it still closes, but it is a little bit of like a tight squeeze when you close it up. Let's see if we can still belt it. Okay, the bag still closes, but it's a little bit of like a tight squeeze when you have your phone inside. But my phone has like a case and a large pop socket on it, so it might add to why it doesn't really necessarily fit that well. But it kind of goes in like that. Like, that's kind of how it looks. 
and the inside. But, I mean, you can just carry your bag like this, even though it's open a little bit. I think it's, like, so cute. But, um, you also don't have to belt it every time when you're carrying it, because it is magnetic. So you can just, like, leave it like that, kind of like how people carry their Kellys. Um, or you can just easily pop these little things back in, which is actually easier to pop in than if you had, like, an Hermes Kelly bag. But this is item number 10. Hygiene! Shoe Diva! Um, I started at 7. We started at 7 p.m. tonight. Okay, so this is our um, taupe tan, or taupe brown, smooth leather, Tory Birch, Lee Radzi, well, um, mini bag with gold hardware and gold chain. Mm. Let me see. I think I sent you a thing of it last time, but I'll send it again. Oh, okay. Hi, Jean. How are you? Yeah. Okay, let's do this one for $245. And that's going to be item number 10. So now item number 10, 245. Oh, Hipatia, you're quick. Congratulations, Hipatia. You really wanted this bag. Congrats. Oh, I'm so sorry, Carmen. He bought you called this one really quickly. I'm, I'm going to look for more of these. This is the first time I've ever gotten one of these, so I'm super duper excited. But it only makes me want to find more of these in the future because I really, really like this style. I really like the larger size. That's kind of like a, like almost like a bucket bag style. I don't know. Hi, Madame Goomba. How are you? But congrats, Hipatia. That one is going to you. Oh, you thought it was a Fendi bag? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just got a notification from Amazon. Amazon's delivering late tonight. Okay, up next, number 11. Hi, Seekon, how are you? Um, our next item, let me just show this guy. It's our pink Chanel bag. And this is in a pearlescent pink color. And it has ruthenium hardware. It's really pretty. I love the color combo. The pearlescence is really gorgeous, too. It's kind of, like, shines and shimmers. It's really, really nice. Um, it also kind of has, like, a little bit of a rouge detail in the front. Um, there is some, like, rubbing, like, very mild rubbing around the corner. So there's very slight, like, a, almost like a discoloration. Um, oh, there also are a couple little marks just right here on the back. Can you see them? It's like a, like one two like a couple little scratches or like indentations they're right there um when you open up the bag it still has some of the stickers inside of there like the protective stickers that came with the bag but it's just a uh like a maroon fabric lining and there's just one interior zipper pocket inside of there it's nice and clean and then this guy you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can wear it as a cross body as well and one of the pieces of the strap has a little fabric or a little leather piece. And this is number 11. Oh, Beth, isn't it a beautiful bag? It's so cute. Oh, Jean, that sounds delicious. Chili and rice. Yum. Okay, this is our light pink, um, light pearlescent pink Chanel flat bag with ruthenium hardware. And this is how much we in? Okay, this one's 2250 So that's number 11. Just $2,250. That's item number 11 tonight for our pink Chanel. She's gorgeous. Cute little crossbody. Phone definitely fits inside of this one. A great size. Okay. 
Up next, we have number 12. And for number 12, let's do... Uh, um, I still have these Celine sunglasses. These are in a red color. They're slightly opaque, so they're kind of see-through. They have gray lenses. Uh, the sunglasses are in great shape. These are also um, old Celine. They have the little accent over the E. I wish these were a little bigger, then I would totally be able to wear them. But like, look at how small they look like on my head. These sunglasses are great though because they're pretty wide, but they have a smaller lens. But they're super cute. So these are number 12, our red Celine sunglasses with gray lenses. And these are how much, Vedrine? Okay, these are $110. I think we had them at $125 before, so we'll discount it a little bit. And that is item number 12. And then number 13. Lucky number 13. <gasps> What's number 13 going to be? And today's Friday the 13th. It has to be good. Um... Are we going to do the Louis Vuitton bag? Or am I going to keep the Louis Vuitton bag? Okay, I'm going to show... Okay, if you, this is the last time I'm going to show it. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it. Okay, here is the Louis Vuitton bag. It is the mesh Louis Vuitton, and it is in black... And you can see, it's like mesh right here. You can see the print. Oh, Deborah! Yes, I am! I'll show that one after this. Um, but yeah, you can see it through here. So the clear blue with pink interior shell bag. Um, West Coast Gal, I still have it. I'm actually using it right now. <laughs> uh, I'll show it to you in a second. But... Um, yeah, it has black hardware, um, it's in great condition, there is, like, some marks on the hardware, like, some scratching and stuff, there's a little bit of color loss in the back corners, so some of that bronze is coming through, um, oh, also a little bit right here as well, and, in, like, a little corner, just, like, right there, uh, there's black leather, and then... Uh, black tonal hardware, and then this is this mesh on the front, back, and then the sides, and then also across the top as well. And crossbody strap is removable, so you can just use this as a clutch also. And it is adjustable, so I think this is kind of like the shortest that you can carry it at. But it's beautiful. So this is item number 13. This is probably the only time I'm going to show this again. Because I'm probably going to end up keeping this. Because I think I do like it, but... Okay, if you guys get it tonight, um, our black mesh Louis Vuitton um, soft trunk crossbody bag with black hardware. And this is how much, Vedrine? This is $2,850, and that's item number 13. Okay. I don't know why I said that so dramatically, but that's 13. She's a beauty. I wish I do I have anything light colored so you can kind of like see how it is. So if you have something inside, you can see it in, in the interior. Okay, so that's this guy. And here's that tote bag. So she's beautiful. Um, I guess if anyone really wanted it, I could be um persuaded to part with it but it is like so cute <laughs> hey, Fatia. yeah only tonight though it is a wednesday adams bag sister of a down it is not this one though this is like wednesday's roommate 
What's her name? I forgot what her name is. But this would be her bag, and that would be her the Wednesday bag. But isn't it so cute? Oh, P.S. Look what I got to. Someone returned it at Target. So I had to buy it. It's not the larger one, but it's the smaller one. I'm really excited. Yay. It was so funny. Like, the... the the um the girl at the store she was like literally she just put it out and she turned around and then I grabbed it and I was like oh! and then she turned around again and I was like holding it but she couldn't see it and she's like where'd the cup go and she was like I just put it down and I was like oh this one she's like oh, okay she's like I was like where'd it go and I was like yeah I have to get it so that's that and okay put this back here oh let me get that wallet. Um, where is that wallet anyway? Okay, here is our next item. Um, this is a pink Chanel zip around wallet. And this one has been refinished, but not by me. It was who originally purchased it, uh, or who originally um, had it before. Uh, the color is pretty close, though, to the original. I just think it's a shade darker than the original color. Um, but here she is. It's, all, it's almost like a bubblegum pink now. This one also will come with, like, the authentication certificate also. Um, it came with it when I purchased it. Uh, interior is in really good condition. It's nice and clean. But this is how it looks. It does have, like, some indentations. Um, I don't know, can you see there's a couple little, like, indentations, like, right there? And, oh, when you hold it like this, you see there's kind of, like, a little indent right there as well. I don't know if that'll come out. But it is there. But there she is. How much is this going to be, Adrian? Okay. So this is our number 14. And let's do... Um... Pink Chanel zip around wallet. Oh, and this has a light gold hardware. I don't know if it shows, but light gold hardware. It's like a brushed gold. Oh, good night, Edie. It was nice to see you. Okay, and we're going to do this one for... Um, six, fifth, this, so, okay, we'll do it, 625. 625, and that's going to be item number 14. Okay. That's number 14. And up next, we got item number 15. I kind of want to repaint it back to, like, kind of maybe the original color that it was. I feel like they might have brought it somewhere to get, like, professionally fixed up. I just keep staring at it. I'm like... <laughs> I've matched that color pink before in the past, and I think I still have it. So I'm just like, should I just, like, take off the old color? Or like the old color, the new color that they put on and like match it to the old one, but I don't know. Up next, number 15. Um, oh, I still have this uh, clutch also. This is a, like there's, it's like a no brand clutch. It doesn't have like any markings inside, but this is a python um, leather. And it's just a, like a really dark, like gray navy black color. 
It's gorgeous. And the python is so soft. It's really cool. It has like a magnetic um, top flap. And then it opens like this. It's just a brown suede on the interior. And it's really nice and clean on both interior and exterior. How much was this one again, Vidrian? Okay. And this one is our navy gray black python leather clutch. And this one's just $35. That's going to be item number 15. Okay, up next, we have number 16. Uh, Norma's calling 15. Congratulations, Norma. I want to go, but... <laughs> oh my gosh, Anne. The tickets are that expensive. I don't even remember the last time I went on, went to a concert, honestly. But congratulations, Norma. That one's going to you. That's number 15. Up next uh, is number 16. And we have... Okay, this one is going to be a little bit, like, this is going to be an as-is bag as well. Um, but it doesn't really have too many things, like, wrong with it. It's really just, there's, like, this mark right here on the front. I don't know if it's, like, an oil mark or it could have been also, like, a hand sanitizer thing and it just, like, spilled on it. So it has, like, that mark right there. And it does have, like, a scratch right there. If you can see that right there. Um... And there's some mild, like, discoloration right there at the top. But this is the Rebecca Minkoff crossbody. I feel like it has so much life left. Um, when the zipper, like, when the tassel's on top of, like, the stain, you don't really notice it too much, right? Uh, it has this cool, like, stitching going all the way around the front with these studs. Uh, the back looks like this. It also does have a couple little marks. There's a couple little marks right there, and... I, I think that might be like a slight color transfer. It's like a little blue. It's not coming up that much or that well, but it's really, really light, but it's there. It's like a like a shadow almost. And it does zip across the top. This has black and silver hardware, and the interior has a zipper pocket and two open pockets on the other side. K-pop fan. Oh my gosh, and does it really get that crazy? It's a great crossbody. The crossbody strap also is adjustable and removable. And it's also one of those one inch thick straps, which is really nice as well. And this is our um, white Rebecca Minkoff crossbody bag. And this is how much we drain? Okay, this one's gonna be $30. I have four PS6 before COVID, I had to get rid Oh, Don, I'm sad you didn't get to go to the concert. That's a bummer. Oh, Sister of Adan called it. Number 16. Congratulations. Okay, up next, 17. My mom is cooking something delicious. It smells so good. It has been smelling so good these past few days because she's been getting food ready. And tonight she's like cooking up stuff already for tomorrow. Ugh. I think she's also like, I think she's making a couple things tonight in preparation for tomorrow. She's making like a baked zitty. So that way tomorrow, like we'll just throw it into the oven when it's time for the party. She's making, um... Oh, she's making paella. Um, she's gonna make egg rolls. I think she's also making Vietnamese spring rolls. She's gonna make orange chicken. 
Um, if you're Filipino or know about this, it's a Filipino dish called kare kare, which is, it's like an oxtail, kind of like soup with like a peanut sauce. And it has veggies inside, like string beans and um, eggplant. And it's really, really good. Uh, oh, and bok choy, I think, is inside. Uh, she's going to make... And she's going to make cheesecake, a chocolate cake. Um, I forgot what other dessert she was going to make. And I think she's also, oh, she's also making fried chicken. There's a lot of food. It's going to be nuts. Oh my gosh, Shibata, you're like a professional ticket getter. That's amazing. Rose, right? Kare kare is so good. Uh, I'm super excited to eat it because we haven't had that in a while. I'll I'll take pictures of the food and show it to you guys. <laughs> okay, our next item is going to be item number 17. I'm like so red today. Oh my gosh. Um, Vadrian, stop laughing at me. I'm going to turn more red. <laughs> <laughs> um, our next item, this is a leap skin satch like shoulder hobo tote bag. And it is in this like taupey gray brown color combo with um like an antique silver hardware. And it's just as leap skin Berlin, it's embossed right there at the top. And then it's a pebbled leather, and then at the bottom it's like a I think it's like a lizard embossed leather, and it has like this cool stitching going up, like like going through, like up and down, going across, and that's all around the bag. I think it's such a cool touch, and then on the bottom it does have like two little feet. Um, all the corners are in pretty great shape actually. There's no rubbing or anything. The shoulder straps are nice and like padded and long, so it sits on your shoulder really nicely. Uh, oh, with bagoong. Oh, there's only one kind of bagoong that I like. That, um... We bought, like, a million bottles of them the last time we were in the Philippines. And we literally only have one bottle left, which is so sad. But it's, like, this, like... It's from, like, a farmer's market in the Philippines. And, like, this couple sells it. It's, like, an organic, low-sodium bagoong. And it's really, really good. And it's, like, not too salty, because you know how, like, bagoong is salty? Bagoong, if you guys, like, are not familiar, it's, I think it's, like, a shrimp paste, and it's, like, pretty salty, and you eat it with kare kare, and you can also eat it with, like, um, like, almost like an unripe mango that's, like, more sour than sweet, and it's really, really good. Here's the interior, beautiful floral print. Uh, there's a zipper pockets on one side and then three open pockets on the other uh, interior is nice and clean and it zips across the top of course i know bago ong rosanna <laughs> i i know all the foods yeah with the the green mango it's like it's like still like sour oh yummy Okay, um, so this is our leap skinned uh, gray taupe pebble leather and lizard embossed leather with antique silver hardware. And this one is in really great shape. Honestly, it looks like it's in like new condition. Um, barrio. Okay, I don't know what Barrio Fiesta is. <laughs> What's that one? Is that like a food? Or is it like, that's like, um, I don't know. Uh, how much is this in Vadrian? Huh? This one is going to be $65. Oh, there also is a, there's a pocket right here that's in like the top, like in the front right here. I think it'll fit my cell phone. But how, how much is it? Vader in 65? Okay, this one is 65. That's item number 17. And the leather on this is super duper soft and really, really nice. Um, where's my cell phone? Oh, yeah! My phone fits inside perfectly. 
Oh, there's also one in the back. So there's two of those little slip pockets. And it has the magnetic snap, too. So, super duper cute. There we go. Um, so over here. Oh, Marjorie's calling it. Congratulations, Marjorie. Number 17 is going to you. Congrats. All right, then number 18 is up next. I feel like I'm literally going blind with all these lights like in front of my eyeballs. <laughs> That's I'm like, <laughs> you need to wear sunglasses to see. Congratulations, Marjorie. She's a beauty. Uh, number 18 is... Oh, okay, I don't know if there's any Claire Vivier fans out there, but I have this gorgeous... Claire Vivier clutch. I'm obsessed with this thing. It's so cute. I wish there was a way to attach crossbody strap to this, but this is just like a little clutch um, pouch that you will have to hold in your hand. But it is beautiful. It's in this laser cut, like perforated leather, and it's black leather. This is, it has a really light pebbling. It's super soft, and it has like these little punch outs. And it just gives it, like, a really cool texture. The leather is super duper soft. So it kind of just, like, melts and is buttery soft. And you pop it open in the top right there. And it has, um, the dust bag is inside. And it just has a chambray interior lining. There's no pockets or anything inside of there. But it is such a beautiful bag. All her stuff, too, is made in Los Angeles. Which is awesome. And... Oh, it's the brand of Bagoong. Yeah, I don't know what the brand is of the Bagoong that we get at the farmer's market. I don't think they have, like, a restaurant or anything. But it's really, really good. If I can find the bottle still, um, I'll show you guys. But, yeah. We haven't had it, like... We, we kind of eat it sparingly at this point because no one's been back to the Philippines to get any more. But they sell it at the farmer's market in... In Makati, there's two farmers markets, uh, one on Saturday and one on Sunday, and they're in like different areas. But um, our my parents have like a condo in front of Greenbelt or something like the mall, and they have like that farmers market there um, on I forget what day it is Saturday or Sunday, and then they that's where they get it from, and it's so so good. All right, uh, so this is our black. Perforated leather um, Claire Vivier um, clutch with silver hardware and dust bag. And this is how much, Adrian? Yeah. Okay, this one is $75 for our little Claire Vivier clutch. Actually, it's not little, it's actually a pretty good size. This will hold a ton of stuff. Okay, so that's number 18. I think that clutch um, retails for, I think, almost $400, I think. Makati is so nice. I love, I think that's my favorite mall. Um, the Greenbelt Mall in the Philippines. It's like a, it's one of the few, like, kind of, like, outdoor malls. Because most of the malls are all, like, enclosed. And that one, like, actually has, like, outdoor space. And it has... A koi pond. I think I just really like the koi pond. I think that's my favorite. What's cool is they actually have an Hermes store there, too. It's crazy. And it's like two stories, I think. I think it's two stories. I think it's two stories. I don't remember. But it's really nice. It's a fun place to go just to, like, hang out. Uh, next up... We have Hold on. I keep getting these random emails. It's so weird. Okay. Um we have another Tory Birch. So I had like some stuff on it. And this one is so cute. It is a navy blue um, suede, no, nubuck, um, like shoulder crossbody bag. And it has 
the logo right there. It's like embossed. It's pretty nondescript. It's like not like in your face Tory Burch, which I kind of like. And it has this whip stitch detail that's along the front and on the back as well. And it has gold hardware. So you can wear this one as a shoulder bag or you can extend it and then wear it as a crossbody as well. Yeah, the Louis Vuitton is pretty big, huh? I think they have like all the kind of like designer shops there, right? They have like a Dior, um, Burberry. There's a Marc Jacobs store there, which is super duper cute. A Balenciaga. Um, here's the interior. There's a middle dividing zipper compartment. And then on one side, we have a, there's a snap pocket right there. And then it has two pockets underneath. And then on the other side, we have just one singular zipper compartment. And the inside is nice and clean. Um, the bag is in pretty good condition. Um, there might be a little bit of like... Yeah, there's no way that you can attach a chain to it, I think. I honestly don't think there is a way to attach a chain to this. Um, yeah. I mean, like, if you wanted to, like, attach something going through here, you'd probably have to, like, whip it up yourself and, like, make it. But you can probably, like, there's little holes underneath the hardware right here um, of the leather. And you might be able to, like, um, get a smaller chain in there with, like, a little D-ring that comes out. And then you can attach a thicker strap to it that way. But they would be down here and I don't know if you can see the if you see like that hole right there so that's the only thing that I could think of is sticking like a small chain or something through there and then attaching somehow but that's the only way that I could think of attaching a chain strap to this but it's such a cute bag and the leather it's so soft yeah <laughs> Adrian said you can screw in like those D-ring things like in the leather but I wouldn't recommend that I hate doing that to bugs I don't like that trend of like kind of ruining the bag to make it into a crossbody I want to think of every way possible to not have to do that to turn it into a crossbody um yeah so this is our navy nubuck leather tory birch hobo shoulder crossbody um, bag with gold hardware. And wait, what did you say, Adrian? 95? Okay, this one is 95, but let's do 85 tonight if anyone is interested in this guy. $85 for our Tory Birch. That is number 19. $85. And then up next, what happened, Adrian? Wait, what? Oh, <gasps> you're watching the baby? That's so cute. <laughs> okay. Um, up next is number 20. Uh, what do we have? Okay, this one's going to be an as-is bag as well. But this one is pretty cute. Uh, this one just, I feel like, needs a little bit of a cleaning. Um, and... It'll be good to go. This is a... Linda, why do husbands not... Oh, no, <laughs> Linda. Carmen. No, Carmen, it's still available. I think someone got it, and then they might have changed their mind. So, it's still available. That Navy um, Tory Burch. Okay, so this is a leaf-skinned wallet on a chain. And it has, like, this really cool, um, almost like a tie-dye print. It's okay, Veronica. You didn't miss too much. We're, we're slow here. You already know that. Um, so, yeah, it has, like, this cool kind of, like, tie-dye print. It's, like, black, gray, and, like, an off-white. It does have, like, some discoloration that's just from use, but... Um, it kind of goes with the design, uh, the leather. This is a leather, it's printed, 
And then we just have Amy Kestenberg's name, just in pause right there in the front. Um, this also has a really, like, the chain on this is so chunky and heavy. Like, it's kind of crazy for, like, a small crossbody bag, but... It's really cool. You can actually use this on other bags as well. It does have some discoloration, though, to the chain. Um, some of the silver silver is rubbing off. You can kind of see, like, a coppery color underneath. Um, so this opens up. J-Sweet. Oh, I can send you the invoice right now, and then you can just pay it Monday if you want, if you want to do that. Just so that we don't forget to send it to you. Because we might forget it. We'll just send it, and then um, you can just pay it on Monday. That's no problem. And oh, you know Monday's a holiday. I did not know. What holiday is it? Am I like clueless? I told oh, just, Eliza. Oh, it's Martin Luther King Day. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was like, it's a holiday. It, the year just started, <laughs> but yeah. So we're not shipping on Monday, um, but we might do a live sale Monday night. Um, and then since we're not having a sale on Saturday, which is tomorrow because we're having the party, so we might do the sale either Sunday or Monday night. I'll let you guys know. Probably Monday night, so I can have a break on Sunday night. And then, um, yeah. So that way we can make up for our lost day. Uh, the interior does need some cleaning. There's some discoloration in that fabric right there. Um... And like the side, like the leather on the sides, it's super duper soft, and it feels like it might have been like stretched out a little bit. But I mean, it still works out. But there are also some glue stains. Those are glue stains on the interior right there from when they create the bag. It has just started yellowing. Um, these are all the compartments. There's like this zip around part right here of the wallet, and there's a zipper coin area right there, which actually is not in bad shape. And then we have a bunch of card slots and then another bunch of card slot areas on the other side. So I think there's about 12 card slots inside of this wallet. And then there's also a kind of like a larger pocket right here, which is actually perfect to throw your cell phone into. And I lost my phone. All right. So perfect to throw your cell phone into. So that just fits right inside of there. And you can even remove the crossbody stuff. So you can just use this as a wallet if you wanted. Um, also, like... This is how it looks when it's carried. The leather on this is so soft. So it kind of has like a little lift on the corners when you carry it. So it kind of looks like that. Okay. I think we've just closed everything on this guy. And that is... Right? That's true, Marjorie. I feel like the whole bag kind of like has the like that lived-in worn-in vibe. So I feel like it all kind of just goes, even like with its coloration and stuff. I feel like it all just kind of matches together. Okay, so this is number 20. This is our Amy Kestenberg um, wallet on chain in printed um, leather. And this one we're going to do for just $25. And that's item number... Um, 20. Veronica, we're going to have to schedule it. I have a I have a couple people already. Um, but oh, Tofu's calling it. Um, so we're going to have to figure out a date that's going to work for you. All right. Next week we have, um, Lady Badger. And I think the week after that is going to be, um... And, and then the week after that, I think, is going to be um, V. And then I think the week after that, we might... I think there's also someone else that was scheduled, but I don't remember what it is. So we're a couple... We're, like, almost, like, a month or two out for people doing lives with me. So it's a lot. I'm sorry. But thank you. Um, congratulations. I'm Tofo. That one's going to you. Such a cool wallet. Alrighty. Up next, we got 21. 
Veronica, have you tried putting your items in the for sale section in Discord? Because a lot of people have been selling on there, too. Like, um, uh, Lady Badger's been selling a lot on there. Anne's been selling a lot. I feel like a lot of people have been selling a, a good amount of stuff in our Discord group. Um, so if you want to post your items on there, too. Okay, 21 is up next. Sorry, something, like, flew into my eyeball. Okay, um... Our next item is going to be this guy right here. This is a Mark um, a Mark Jacobs little satchel in this pebbled leather in this beautiful brown. It has silver hardware. This guy is in pretty great shape. This one is in almost like new condition. Um, it still has little cards and stuff right inside of here. It has a little silica gel packet as well. And the interior is in nice, nice, nice clean condition. There's just one zipper pocket inside of there. And we have the top handles. And then the crossbody strap is adjustable and removable also. And I think this is just a classic silhouette. Such a cute style. And the color is also a really nice, like, neutral brown. It's beautiful. Um, this is what the bottom looks like. No feet. Um, there's the back. All the corners are in pretty great condition also. I think there's just, like, one little, like, mark, like, right there in that corner. Um, yeah, otherwise... She's in great shape. Yeah, Veronica, you should post it in the meantime. Because you could you could possibly be selling a lot of stuff. Like, um, Lady Badger started posting stuff and selling stuff. And she, I think she's been selling a, a good amount of stuff. Okay, so this is our uh, brown... What is this? Mark Jacobs satchel with silver hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, this one's $85, but we're going to do this, uh, let's do 75 We'll discount. Okay, 75 that's going to be item number 21. Oh, I put, why not? Oh, I forgot to, oh, I didn't write it properly. Okay, um, brown head, Mark Jacobs. Okay, up next, we have number 22. Also, if you guys have not entered the giveaway, don't forget to join. The question is right there. Thank you again to Habatia for providing today's question. Um, leave your answer in the comments of this video. I'm going to link it right here for you guys. Leave it in the comments of the video. And then at the end of tonight's live, we're going to be announcing our winner, and it's for this diesel wallet in gray leather and look at the interior bam beautiful pop of blue okay up next we have uh, oh i have a little black rebecca minkoff bag this is the mini mac and this is just in a black pebbled leather gold hardware. Um, this one is, I'm selling this one as an as-is bag, but honestly, it's still in pretty great shape. It just has some slight discoloration to the hardware, so some of it's turning silver. Um, and there's just, like, some mild, like, rubbing to the leather, but since it's a black leather bag, it's not, like, super obvious. Um, interior does have some discoloration. It has a little bit of yellowing towards the top by where the zipper is, and there's just one interior pocket right there. Oh, Martha's calling 21. Congratulations, Martha. That is a good bag. Congrats. She's a beauty. We love this satchel. Congratulations. I love that bag. Okay. Congratulations again, Martha. 
Um, okay, so this bag is how much, Adrian? This is number 22. Is our Black Rebecca Minkoff. This one's going to be an as-is. Um, hi, Hannah. Okay, we're going to do this one for just $20. That's going to be item number 22 for $20 for our Black Rebecca Minkoff bag. Okay. This zipper um, doesn't actually work. It's just kind of uh, just there for aesthetics. And the middle zipper also does not work. It's just a top zipper. So that tells you that this is an older style. The newer versions of this, the, zip, the middle zipper actually is a pocket too. So, Hannah, it's this diesel wallet in gray leather. Here's the interior, bright blue. Oh, Lady Badger's calling in, number 22. Congratulations, Lady Badger. Uh, let me leave the link for the giveaway. So you can enter, Hannah. There you go. There's the link again. And we are on item number 23, I think. Yes, 23. All right, up next we have let's do. Oh, here, this is going to be another kind of, like, um, as-is bag, but honestly, it's not, like, really in bad condition at all, but this is a black Kate Spade flat bag. Um, it's just the hardware it has quite a few scratches and discoloration, um, but the leather is in great shape. Oh, Rosanna, you're going to take number 18. Oh, all right. Well, congratulations, Rosanna. You're going to love it. Let me know how it turns out, too. I want to see it. You got to send me some photos when you figure out how to do it. But she's a beauty. Congratulations. Room number 18 is going to you. All right. Um, but yeah, this one's going to be an as-is because of the hardware. Um, interior is in pretty good condition. There's no stains or anything. It just has one open pocket right inside of there. And yeah, it's just the hardware that has marks on it. That's number 23. This is our Kate Spade. Black leather Kate Spade flap bag with gold hardware. And again, this is an as-is. And then this one is going to be $25. Uh, Monjed, yes, yes, they are. I have the two, the, I have the pink one and the red one still available if you are interested. Okay, so that was number 23 is our Kate Spade. Um, yes, Monjed, we have these two right here. They're still available. We have the red and the pink. We also do have a pink Chanel uh, little zip around coin case. But I'll do this one next since we're on Chanel. What's wrong with what, Veronica? Okay, so this is going to be item number 24. And this is our yellow... Oh, I didn't even show you guys yet. This is um, a yellow Chanel backpack. And it is in this beautiful yellow leather. It kind of has a sheen to the leather, too, which is nice. Um... It's not patent though. It kind of has like a glazed finish. It has like the clear portion up top, which is also in good shape. There's no tears or color transfer or anything on that. 
and it has silver hardware. There's the back. And the bottom has little feet down there. Uh, Veronica, it has, it has the marks and scratches and discoloration on that buckle on the front. Oh. Do you see the scratches and discoloration on there? So it's gold, but it's turning a little silver, and it does have a lot of scratches on there. Okay, um, turn lock is right there. Opens up. There's our Chanel little tag in there. And then the bottom part zips open. has two zippers. So what the interior looks like. There is some slight discoloration on the interior. Um, we have the little serial number sticker right there. But this will come with a certificate of authenticity as well. And she is super nice. Okay. And this is uh, how much, Vaderian? Yellow Chanel backpack with silver hardware and clear top. Okay, this one is 3000 Okay, so that's item number 24. And up next, you got number 25. What are those, Adrian? Socks? Oh, I see it. I can't with you. Oh, Hannah! This is um, the newest addition to, my, to the family. This is like a little guy from Totoro. I don't know what he's called, but he's like one of the little Totoro guys. Like, there's, like, this one, there's, like, the little, like, bluish one, or grayish one, and then there's Totoro. So, he's just, like, a little Totoro person. I don't know what kind of, like, animal or thing it is. <laughs> okay, 25 is up next. And should we end at 25? What time is it? It's 9. Maybe we'll end at 25, because I still have a lot of stuff to do for the party tomorrow. So, I think this will be our last item. Um, what do I have, though, for our last item? Again, we will be back either, uh, probably Monday night. I don't think I'll, I'm going to try to kill myself with a Sunday night live. We'll do it Monday night. Um, probably, I don't know what time. I'll let you guys know. I'll schedule it. Um, but our last item for the evening is going to be... Oh, let's do this. Okay. This is a vintage Chloe bag. Oh, Rosanna, really? is the best. I just don't know, like, the name, like, what kind of animal or whatever it is. Oh. Apparently it's a chibi Totoro. So I guess they're all Totoros, just in different sizes. That one's, like, the smallest one. So, he's super cute. But yeah, we love all of the Totoros, my favorite. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. I really have to get ready for this party still, and there's still a lot to do, so. Um, but this is a Chloe. It's a vintage Chloe. Uh, it does have, like, some... This is going to be, like, an as-is, but it's a cool as-is designer piece. There are, like, some marks on there. I think these will all actually come out, too. What was the Stella McCartney? Um... Oh, I have the backpack, Hipatia. Did you want it? I think you might have seen it, though. It's that denim backpack. Uh, but it is super cute. But again, it does have some of that stainage on the exterior. But I think most of that stuff will come out. It has um, these exterior pockets right here. And so these open up, and this is just one big compartment. And then there's another pocket, like, right behind it. And this one opens like that. And then in the interior, again, it has some stainage inside the fabric lining. But not too bad. Um, 
There's a zipper pocket on one side and then a larger open pocket on the other. And there are like some pen marks too, just like inside the little zipper po um, part right there. Um, it does zip all the way across the top as well. And the strap is a good length. You can carry this one on your shoulders. Hi, Sarah. Oh, you're welcome, Patia. Yeah, that's um, that's the only Stella piece that I have at the moment, is the backpack. All right, so this is our... Um, it's kind of like a cream color. It's not white, but uh, like a really light cream. So cream... Uh, Chloe shoulder bag with a vintage gold hardware. And this one's going to be an as-is. And how much is this, Fadrian? Hi, Liz. Hey, what did you say? Okay, this one's going to be... We're just going to do this one for $60. It's designer as-is, but it's a pretty easy cleanup. As far as the exterior goes, so. Okay. And that is our last item for the night. Item number 25. And that's $60 for our uh, vintage Chloe. Well, I don't know if it's actually considered vintage, is it? Is it, maybe? I don't know. Actually, it might be. How, how old does it have to be to be vintage? Is it only 50, 20 years? 50, I don't know. Anyway, it's an older style Chloe. This is actually really cute, though. I love all that quilting. It's really nice. All right. Well, I will leave the link one more time for the giveaway. And then we're going to be announcing our winner. And um, we're going to end the live. And the invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes after the live ends. Uh, but if you guys have any questions about anything, let me know. Or we can send me an email. Um, Veronica, it's stained on the inside and the exterior. So it has, like, discoloration both on the inside and the outside. I don't know if it's really picking up. Can you see that on camera? It's kind of like a brownish, tannish color um, through the front. And the interior, it has um, staining at the bottom. It has like a lot of staining and stuff on the bottom, so. And pen marks. Uh, my sister's keeper, I, the only denim bag I have right now is... Let me grab it. Woo! Is this uh, backpack right here. He didn't show the little black hole. Oh, Marjorie. Uh, but here is the backpack. It's the Stella McCartney backpack. It's in denim, and then it has, like, this, like, magenta and gunmetal hardware. This is, like, metallic magenta, and it's a vegan leather. You're welcome, Veronica. Okay, so this is item number... Let's just run it. Or run it. Let's just show it. 26. Um, oh, Bevan's calling 24. Congratulations, Bevan. Yay. And that one was our... Oh, the yellow Chanel backpack? Bevan, you're getting the Chanel backpack? It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. This guy right here, our yellow Chanel backpack. Mustard. <laughs> Okay, 25. <laughs> that one is this guy. Mustard's best friend. Congratulations, Bevin. All right. It's okay, Bevin. 25 is yours. You're getting the Chloe. Congrats. Mustard and ketchup are together still. Oh, Marjorie, that's awful. Oh, man. 
Oh, yeah, Angelus did just come out with that. Okay, Bevin, congratulations. Oh, where's the gavel? Congrats. Um, where are my notes? Oh, here we are. Okay. Um, Bevin. Okay, then 26 is the uh, denim. What is it? Stella. Wait, 26. Denim Stella McCartney backpack with um, metallic magenta accents and a gun metal hardware. And this one is $300 for the Stella backpack. And that's item number 26. Okay, and let me leave the link again one more time. Veronica, I don't think we were able to send them out today, unfortunately. Um, but Vadrian will get right on it, and we'll get you those photos too, because Vadrian has the bag right now as well. So we'll get you those photos that you wanted for the leap skin, I believe, is what it was. Was it? Oh, it's not the leap skinned? No. What was it? Bakie! It was the Bakie. Ooh, I love Sriracha Mayo. I'm sorry, Liz. I gotta go. <laughs> I have to finish uh, decorating for Eliza's birthday party tomorrow, so. You still you can keep. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. I'm going to get a Sriracha Mayo bag next. Okay. Um, where? Okay, so let me leave the link again one more time. And... My Sister's Keeper, I don't have any purple coach, I think, right now. I don't think I have anything. Um, anything purple, really. Yeah, I don't think I have anything purple right now at the moment. I'm sorry. Okay. Did you show the zipper? Oh, Cecilia, you know, I did have that backpack. No, I totally forgot. Okay, we'll show one more item because I didn't show that backpack. Which one was that? Oh, it was the Amy Kestenberg backpack. Yeah, I want to make sure to show all the items from the preview. I'm sorry. I think this was it, right? This is the Amy Kestenberg backpack. Was this the one? There was this one, and then... I think this was it, right? I think so. Yeah, the Amy Kestenberg backpack. It kind of looks like Rebecca Minkoff. And it has, like, this cool, like, magnetic snap right here at the back. So it actually prevents anyone from opening it while you're wearing it. Um, so you have to release that magnetic snap, so then you can open it. Interior has a zippered compartment and then an open pocket behind it. It does have some light staining on the interior right there. Uh, you might be able to remove it further, but those marks are right there. And there are like some marks on the hardware as well, just some light scratching and some slight discoloration at the base. There's a little bit of the copper coming through. There also is a nice magnetic snap pocket in the back right here. The straps are fully leather. And... That's what the bottom looks like. It doesn't have any feet. Veronica, I, I just showed it. It has, some, it has some discoloration and scratches on the hardware. And what else? I think that's it. Oh, it also does have a little bit of the interfacing coming out of the uh, the leather pull right here. But that's an easy fix. We'll burn those off for you guys. But this is number 27. This is our Black Amy Kestenberg backpack with silver hardware. And how much is this, Adrian? Good night, Tanya. How much? 55? 50. 50 dollars. 
That's going to be item number 27. Sorry I didn't show the backpack earlier. But there you go. That's our last item for the evening. <laughs> Is there anything else that I left out that I showed in the preview? I'm literally the worst. Oh, hey, there's Cecilia. It's calling it. Congratulations, Cecilia. Thank you for reminding me to show it. Congrats. Yay. All right, Cecilia, congratulations. And that is our last item of the night. Okay. And now let's do the giveaway. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's your first purchase. Oh, thank you so much, Celia. Congratulations. Oh, please make sure to send me an email, which is right there, so we can send you your invoice, okay? So send me an email and um, let me know what it was that you got, and we will send you your invoice after the live ends. And let's pick our winner now. Um, got my YouTube comment picker up. All right, in three, two, one. One, two, 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 two. It is Sister of a Down. Congratulations, Sister of a Down. A uh, favorite purchase from Adrian. There are so many, but definitely the mini turquoise Patricia Nash and Tori Birch chain wallet. Congratulations, Sister of a Down. You are the winner of tonight's giveaway. And that is our little diesel wallet right here. Congratulations. Um, we will send that out with your order. And... Yeah, that is it for tonight, guys. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out. Um, next live will probably be a Monday night. I don't know exactly what time. I'm thinking around 8 o'clock. But I'll have that scheduled for you guys so you know. Um, and that is the end of tonight's live sale. I gotta go finish uh, decorating for Eliza's birthday. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful, great weekend. Um, if you guys have any questions, send me um, an email. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. But probably going to be pretty busy uh, this whole weekend with Elizo. Um, but thank you guys again so much for hanging out. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all later. Adios, good night, Shirley, Dawn, Sister of a Down, Dota Bird, Marjorie, um, West Coast Gal, Eclair, Dota Bird, Jay Sweet, uh, Dawn, Sarah, Cecilia, Hannah, Anne, Veronica, um, Linda, uh, Sarah, uh, and everyone, I'm so sorry if I didn't mention your name, but I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, adios. Bye.